I was reading the New York Times Magazine this uh, Sunday, and here's the cover article. It's called um, The Brand Underground, and it's about the culture uh, uh, being able to brand something now, you don't have to have a mass market. You can just brand for a few people. The feature person in the um, in the article is someone who started a company. He's a 29-year-old guy. Started a company called the Anything Company. You see, anytime, any place, anywhere. This logo has got the New York in the idea, and uh, but it reminded me of an artist that. Um, in Canada, from Canada, named Ian Baxter, who started his own company called the N.E. Thing Company, and that was in 1969. That was um, more than 35 years between that N.E. Thing Company and the, the one in the New York Times Magazine. But the point here isn't really about who did it first. It's about a concept. It's about um, of, of how artists can somehow foresee the future. A lot of artists have done uh, have made emphasis on individuals as individuals with taste, with, with likes, with dislikes. Like this is a, an artwork of um, Ian Baxter's, the one who did the Anything Company, in which a person is uh, becoming a landscape in a way the landscape replaces her face. But I think it has to do with um, how do you fit in to the world? individually. And uh, this one of Tom Marioni's has to do with body measurement, which is um, the reach of the finger. Tom Marioni in 1970 had an exhibition in a museum where he invited his friends to a beer party the night before and then left the debris on exhibit. That was in order to demonstrate that, that uh, art could be an action or could be an activity. And at any time you take something seriously enough and pay attention to it. One of the things Ian Baxter did was to have a, uh, he produced little uh, buttons that you could wear. It said, art is all over. And that has something to do with John Cage also, who said, uh, uh, art is everywhere. It's only seeing that stops now and then. So that attitude uh, has come along. The artist I have for the print right here is by Ram L. Z, who was one of the very early graffiti artists in New York. And he, and like a lot of other artists of, of his time, did ideas of um, kind of advancing what our world is like now with all this um, surreal fighting. And the article even mentions Andy Warhol. There were certainly many others. So uh, my question is, how do they do it? How does an artist sense what the world's going to be like 20 or 30 years in the future? And I think that uh, it does have something to do with a uh, serious kind of paying attention. This is getting back to our ideas about creativity. What Tom Marioni said um, back then when he did the beer in the museum, uh, the first beer in the museum piece, he's done many since. He said, this is... Um, conceptual art, which is idea-oriented situations not directed at the production of static objects. And this is where the artists and the um, companies, the quote I read you about the, um, the uh, commercial interests, where they part company, that the artist's brand is a kind of um, an, an idea that he's found. He hasn't uh, made it up in order to illustrate something, illustrate a, a uh, product. The product comes later. The, uh, the idea is found in nature, in a way, by his intensity of uh, integration with it.